Now that we have our design built, next what we're going to do is we're going to assign IDs to everything except the close button because we want the close functionality, in other words the cancel functionality, to stay intact. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that and then once I'm done I'll bring it back and we will add or we will enable and disable or churn these buttons or input fields to disable. So go ahead and follow along if you want or name them however you want. Uh, for text fields I do txt txt lowercase and then the name of the field. Uh, for date it would be like date time picker, yeah, date time, or so DTP and then starting date, DTP ending date.
So as you can see, we've added IDs to each of the fields except for close because we want to keep its uh, default functionality for the cancel where it just closes the window out. And then I've gone ahead and I've set disabled to the fields that I do not want anybody to be able to edit. Then we're going to go ahead and save it. And then run the application to make sure it works again or there's no errors being generated. Perfect. We can add content in. I can't place anything in here. If we click close, the application works. In the next video, we'll get into using the process button and adding functionality into it.